First off, we have to put the wiper blades into the service position so that they can be swung out. Once the blades are off the screen, you can see there's a little button in the middle where the blades are attached. This needs to be pressed with the top of the blades angled away from the window so as to release them. I needed two hands to do this as I need a bit of a pull to get them out. Taking the new rubbers out of the packet, you'll notice there is one long one and one short one. The long one's for the driver's side and the short one is for the passenger side. There's a plastic cap on the end of each wiper blade. You want to be removing the cap with the Volvo stamp on it to be able to remove the rubber. The other end doesn't have any stamp on it. With a small flathead screwdriver, you can pull the little spring tab back and then pull the end of the cap and the old rubber will then slide out. Check which way around you have the new rubber and then thread it onto the track on the wiper blade. It should glide up smoothly. Once you get it to the end, the cap on the other end can then be pushed on until here the clip of the small release tab going back into place. This secures it all. It's exactly the same procedure for the other blade. You want to get the end cap with the Volvo stamp on it. Start there, get your flathead screwdriver, push the tab back, and then you can pull the end cap off and the rubber will slide out easily. Get the rubber lined up with the track, slide it back in, and it should be nice and smooth all the way up to the other end. Once it's there, you can go to the end cap and snap that back into place. You'll hear the little tab click in place. Back outside again and time to clip the wiper blades onto the arms. Remembering the long one is for the driver side and the small one is for the passenger side. Just be careful when putting them back as they have to line up exactly so they connect to the screen wash feed pipe correctly. Give them a good push down, they snap into place, then put the blades back on the screen. Back in the car, press the wiper service button again, which will put the wiper blades back to their normal stowed position.